Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Report Products. Today's video is in regards to a tech support question that was asked by an end user. The end user has a design that they're working on where it's a simple rectangular building. However, they have two different roofs at two different slopes and a little um, wall that's sitting up higher for clear story windows. And they wanted to figure out how to build something like this. So I'm going to head over to Revit 2019. And if I head over to level one floor plan, you see we have the basic rectangular shape. We head over to level two. We have that vertical wall. If we look at this in 3D, then it looks like this. So we want to try and draw the slope of one going up to here and then one going this way. So let's head over to level two floor plan again. And then we'll zoom in a little bit. And in this case, we're going to have to create two separate roofs, one on the left side and one on the right side. Can't You cannot do the roof by footprint with two different. Uh, it's just a little cumbersome this way. So I'm going to head over here, say roof um, by footprint. And it goes into sketch mode. And we want to draw the lines that define the slope, which is this one here. And then ones that don't define a slope are the left and the right side. And obviously, we need one somewhere around here. We'll do the join roof command later. So let's clean up this sketch. And <clears throat> so this line goes straight up. This one goes straight up. This one goes straight up. This one slopes from this edge towards the center of the Revit model. And if we look at the slope, it's 9 and 12. So let's just hold that for now and finish the sketch. <clears throat> Excuse me. It will ask if you want to attach the highlighted walls. I'm going to say no for now. And then I'm going to do it again, roof by footprint. And this time, again, defining the left, the right, this side, and then one with slope over here. And we'll clean this up as a separate roof. Now, this one is still 9 and 12 because that's the last time we used the command. It remembers it. So let's change that to 6 and 12 and finish it. And again, say no. So let's just look at it in 3D with where we stand. So you can visually see what's happening here. Okay. Now that that's OK, <clears throat> because we need this wall to go up to the underside of this roof, and the base of it to go to this roof, we can select that wall and click Attach and attach the top in the Options toolbar to this roof. We can then attach the base to this roof here, and it gets attached. Okay. And then lastly, we need these four walls to be attached. So if I select this wall and this wall, and this wall and this wall and we can attach the top to that roof there let it do its thing hit OK and you're going to see a situation that happens like this a lot a lot of people what they'll do is they'll take that roof or that wall they'll take this wall and they'll also try to attach it to this one here as well and what happens is this it does the attachment and let's shade it so it's a little easier to see. And so you can see how it attaches to both roofs this way. Okay. Now, depending on where this physical roof sits or this wall sits will dictate the shape of this particular wall. If I were to select this wall, I can click Edit Profile. And if I click Close, you're going to see it go back to its baseline sketch of a rectangular wall. If you go to a, fl a flat elevation type of view like this, you can actually sketch with the edge of the roof that shape that you need to get it to uh, make it look the way you want it to look. So back in the picture here, let's zoom in a little bit, it looks like this wall, this roof here stops just short of that wall. It doesn't overhang. So let's switch back and cancel this out. We'll head over to you, we'll select, we'll double click the roof, go back to level two, and we will take the sketch here and move it over. 
like so. Then, uh, and the other reason why our, the why this looks a little strange is because our cut plane hasn't been set. <clears throat> Let's put this up to 50 and unlimited. And now you can see it's kind of shaped this way. Let's go back to the 3D view. And now you can see that it's coming back and it's closer. So look at this um, wall here. <clears throat> because we told it to attach to the roofs, then it kind of shapes itself nicely. Okay, so let's go back to the picture. And it looks pretty close to what we want. This one overhangs a lot higher than that, which is doing there. This is overhang, this is overhanging, and that's this is all I have to work with is which is this picture right here. So as you can see, you know, if you do two separate roofs this way, you can get it to work out. Um, as for how this wall ends here and here, um, you're going to have to change the where that wall sits. And so if I were to take this roof and hide it temporarily, take this one and hide it, you can see that this particular wall, I only have it drawn from here and it joins in, um, you may need to break that join condition. So if I right click and say disallow join, I can force that edge to be that, to that edge there. And same thing over here. Zoom in, select it, right click, disallow join, and then drag it up. And then if we look at this in 3D, it should clean up nicely, see? If you really want to be particular, you can use join geometry to join the walls together. So that's how you go about creating a, a little Revit model where you have two different roofs at different slopes with a little uh, wall up higher for clear story windows. Thank you very much for watching.